This video and its content are operated underneath the guise of the Fair Use Act. So we were supposed to do this on YouTube. However, comma, I'm trying to stay where I have good, good lighting and I have a good signal because as y'all know, I'm in Florida right now, I'm going to be visiting and I had to switch this up and we had to come over here on IG instead of YouTube. But tonight... When she came up the first time and we were dealing with some some little bit of henny but tonight she's gonna come up and she's going to talk to you guys about different things that you were asking about in the last live in the previous live you guys wanted to know about the life insurance you wanted to know what she had going on and so tonight I wanted to open up the platform and allow Miss Carletta to bring y'all in to all of the dope things that she has going on. So good evening, Miss Carletta. How I'm are you? I'm highly favorite. How are you? I'm doing well as well. I know we had some technical difficulties, but you look Do I? I am so sick. In my, of this, whenever the weather changes, I start peeling. And I've been peeling all right here all day. I'm over here rubbing Vaseline like, no, you can't be doing this right now. <laughs> but thank you. I understand that happens in the creases of my nose, yeah. but you next to that gold with that green, thank you. you're serving right now. This is from my little boutique. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, okay. So I wanted, okay. So I wanted you to talk about both things because both things are important. You know, it's not just about, for me, it's not just about getting to the T and the mess and, and all of that. You have some really amazing things going on. I did look at uh, the culture closet and um, she has some dope pieces over there. Uh Oh, did I lose Miss Carletta? I hope I didn't lose her. She's frozen. Or am I frozen? Let me look and see what's going on. Okay. All right. So I'm not frozen. I'm looking on my other phone. I'm not frozen, but we did lose Miss Carletta. She's back. All right, she's back. back. Oh, my service is so bad. It said, it okay. said thanks for joining. Have a good day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> All right, so I, you, when you last came, it was on some, the heels of some, you know, some tea, some yeah. mess. Um, but for me, I want to know about all of y'all. Like, I don't want to just have you guys come talk to us about the mess. That's all good. But you have some very interesting things going on with the life insurance and the culture boutique. So I'm going to let you go ahead and so pick which, I mean, the culture that, closet. I want you to. Before we do that, I want to say that, um, I went to, I was in Ohio the day that, um, the news of my nephew getting the four years was delivered. Um, I went for a wedding of one of my cousins. She's the only girl. It was a beautiful wed wedding. Um, uh -huh. And I was supposed to be a guest at the wedding, but I wanted to happen to be the big cousin and stepping in and doing a whole bunch of stuff. And I, But at the same time, I had just got the news. Like, literally, I got off the plane and I'm driving to her. And I had to hold it together. Um, it broke my heart. I wasn't expect, um, and maybe other family members were, but I wasn't. I wasn't expecting that. It broke my heart majorly because at the end of the day, you know, I just, nobody want to see their nieces and nephews in that situation or that predicament. So that broke my heart. But I heard a little clip yesterday on The Breakfast Club of him, and I was just like, 
Whew. Okay, he good. He watching porn, and he, <laughs> <laughs> and he he's like, no, he's 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 all right. Oh my God, what that did to my spirit! It gave me some calm over me because, you know, you just you never know. And so, you know, I know it gave some calm over his mom, but golly, I was just like, I needed that. So I don't, I don't know who posted the conversation but i was so grateful to the breakfast club for posting that because like that just brightened up my day <laughs> put a little pep in my step i had one cup of coffee right. instead of two you know it was like it was cool <laughs> <laughs> right. so it felt good to Trust hear his me, voice totally it felt relate. good to know that he's great and then before we touch on my businesses i also want to notice that my niece is like I don't, so I don't watch social media. Um, I'm sorry, not social media, reality TV at all. I just, you know, I follow mm -hmm. her. I watch the clips. I'm so freaking proud of Johnny's. I'm so freaking proud of Callie. I'm so proud of Callie. Like, I'm just proud of her. And that is just she, like, she's it is it. her season. And I'm so happy that mm -hmm. she's in her mm -hmm. season. I'm just, you know. So I, I just want to give big ups to all of my family that's trying to, you know, get it out the mud and, and go where they need to be right. going. Like, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It, it just shows that we survivors. We're strong, independent people that's going to thrive in every aspect of life. You know, we bend, but we never break. So that right, right. there is just, like, amazing. So with that being said, let I, I really want to touch the bases on life insurance before I get to the, you know, the boutique is like play, but this is like real life. Right. As as right. Us, as African American people. Yes. I'm glad my son is there protecting her too. Um yes. yes. Let me tell you something. Maine, Callie, all when I see all of them in the clips and the, they are hilarious. Now they need a show now they but the <laughs> funny part about it is all of my nieces and nephews is like your jaws will be hurting when you leave because you be laughing the entire time <laughs> like nothing is taken serious and even when something is serious somebody's gonna make a joke you gotta look and be like which one of these is gonna take us to the next level, level <laughs> where we're not gonna be crying no more it's always like that right like, i don't know between Callie, May, Dre, John, all of them just make a joke out of everything. My nephew, mm -hmm. they make a joke out of everything, even when it's not funny. It's just like, we're not supposed to be laughing. I'm gonna tell y'all a little story. We said my grandmother's funeral and we couldn't sit together. <laughs> right. Oh, I think I know where you going because that, that we had one of those situations because too. It, and it wasn't because, you know, we were all crying. Everybody was crying. You know what I'm saying? We were all sad, but we were all like, okay, you know, we, we embraced it. We knew it was coming. You know what I'm saying? We, we embraced it. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't sit together because, like, of the visitors. Like, it wasn't the family. It was the visitors. Like, somebody was going to say something. And so I kept like, I kept moving and I kept looking over my shoulder and I would see somebody behind me and I'm like, I gotta get up and go outside. I couldn't sit with them because that, that death look that my dad sends over when you know you ain't, <laughs> when you do right. you know you supposed to be doing, you know you ain't keep laughing. Right. Like, no, nah, I couldn't sit with them. So yeah, I, I'm the one that indulges in the bullshit with them every time because if they do something stupid, I'm laughing. They mamas could be mad. I'm laughing. It's just like, yeah. well, listen, I get it. Because that's me and my <laughs> siblings. We were at the funeral and had the whole funeral looking at us because we kept laughing. But it wasn't that we were laughing at the situation. That's just how we handle things. We don't take things that seriously, like you're saying. So I totally get it. So, you know, it was like we were laughing at somebody, kissed somebody with some cheap lipstick, and it was just stuck. And so we're standing there trying to wipe it off of him. And everybody's looking at us like, why are they like this? And my dad was giving us that very look. But eventually he broke down because he saw what we were doing. Like we were still trying to deal with it. But at the same time, we were dealing with it in the way that we do. Right. And it, it just, it's not a disrespectful thing, but you just can't. I think, I think 
you just can't take things so serious sometimes because life still has to move. But I get what you're saying, and I'm going to indulge yeah, in it too. Every time. Every time. And I'm the oldest sibling. Time. <laughs> I'm going to be, be right mad. there you with You can't them. beat me. So be mad. Okay. <laughs> be mad. I don't care. <laughs> but no, but you know, but we were mainly laughing because we knew, you know, my grandma had smart stuff to say, say about certain people to approach, and we would just remember something she might have said about that person or that person might have did, and we would just crack up laughing like, yeah. Stop laughing. Hold on one second. Let me, um, let me okay. turn the uh, fan over. Now, if y'all seen Miss Carletta outfit, she said that's over there at the Culture Closet. Y'all got to go check that out. But in the meantime, you know, y'all get, you know, settled in and stuff. Yeah. So I wanted to have you speak on life insurance because I personally went through a situation where dad passed in 2018 mm -hmm. and she didn't have any final arrangements and that fell on me and the burden that it leaves on mm -hmm. you is not something that I want to wish on anyone because in all actuality I didn't have time to grieve because I was so busy trying to yep. get everything scrape money up and bought, rob from Peter to pay Paul in order to get these things done and a lot of times family especially if you're the black sheep of the family they're not gonna step not in all. and help you so it's it in that moment it made me realize i never want to leave this on my kids so but one of the things that i had issue mm -hmm. with was i had lost my job because i got sick so i didn't have the funds for life insurance at the time. So now I said, let Miss Carletta come up here and explain how important it is, how affordable it can be, how people can, you know, learn about these things. I really just wanted you to be that so voice let, for it. So let me start by saying that the average funeral right now in today's day is about $15,000. That's the funeral if you're wanting to be buried. If you want to be cremated, it's like $5,000. Um, it's really up to you. But the thing about it is, how many of us can actually go into our account and pull out $15,000? Not many of us can go in there and pull out $15,000. Right. So I have something here that is a whole, whole life policy that I wrote for somebody um, that is 32 years old. They only, they, they have a policy through their job. But the thing about with the job is, if you lose your job you lose your insurance so it's always yes good to take your job's insurance but it's always great to have your own on the side and let me tell you another thing about insurance i know someone personally that had insurance and when she through her job she signed up for the insurance unfortunately the job said that she did not pick a beneficiary she didn't pick one so they buried her with the additional funds that were left over, went to the company because she didn't pick a beneficiary. Are you serious? Correct. And then COBRA insurance is something different. There is COBRA insurance. However, your your job doesn't have to offer you COBRA insurance. They don't have, uh -huh. have to offer it to you. But if you have your own life insurance policy, you don't have to worry about if your job is going to offer it to you. And what I was saying, is for so there's a difference between whole life and traditional life let's start there um not traditional life term life term life is for a term okay it only goes 20 or 30 years and then after that the company has the right to renew it at a higher rate or they don't but for example your age is just give me a ballpark figure you don't have to give me your actual age just give me a ballpark figure okay 40 Somebody the age of 40 years old, you can get a $30,000 policy and that will cover you for whole life. Whatever you select as your amount right now is going to be the amount for the remainder of your life. It's not going to increase. It's not going to decrease. That's going to be the remainder payment for the rest of your life. Okay. Another thing with, okay. between okay. term life and whole life is term life you cannot borrow from whole life you can borrow from so if something comes up after you've had the policy and it has gained some traction you can borrow from that 
to be able to use things like to pay for books for your kid if something happened. You know what I mean? You you need to have it. <laughs> Selena says she need a million dollar policy. So Selena, I will never <laughs> show you a million dollar policy. Let me just tell you why. If, if we got to be realistic here, if you are on a, if you're making thirty thousand dollars a year, you cannot afford a million dollar policy. You're gonna lapse. You're gonna let that policy cancel. That's not good business for me or for you. Right. And somebody just said IULs. I am gonna touch bases on IULs. IULs are a good thing. Um, they're they're a great thing, but there are some tricks to IULs. So for for this particular policy that I'm talking about, I got this policy for a young lady out of the state of Georgia. She got thirty thousand dollars. She has a policy with her mm -hmm. job, but she wanted a policy just in case something happens, she loses her job. Because remember, she's thirty two, and her premium mm -hmm. is thirty seven dollars a month for thirty thousand dollars. That's gonna be her premium when she's eighty. That's gonna be her premium when she's ninety. It pays all the way up to age one hundred. Okay, that's gonna be her. Wow. Not gonna increase that's going to be her premium okay so with that being said with that premium she's going to pay 37.77 and then i also added the accelerated death benefit rider onto that and so the accelerated uh, accelerated death benefit rider allows the owner to accelerate a portion of the base policy eligible death benefit um, if the base policy is insured, diagnosed with a terminal illness. So that means if she gets diagnosed with a terminal illness, she can cash this policy in. Okay. Now, I want to ask you something because um, when my stepmom passed away, she had an insurance policy, but she ended up getting cancer and she didn't have the, the insurance policy long enough for it to cover. Oh. So what mm -hmm. kind of policy two years. That. you and, have and to have your policy two years here's the thing though so let's say that you get your policy today and you pass away six to eight months from now right they're going to give you a return of premium plus 10 percent. that's it so they're not going to pay out a hundred thousand dollars if that's your policy amount they're going to give you what you paid pre-existing um shay's granny um, we can talk because I have, I'm a broker, not an agent. So I have multiple carriers, um, that will, some will cover pre-existing and then I have some that are guaranteed issues. It's not going to ask you about pre-existing nothing. They just going to, it's guaranteed issue. But again, you have okay. to live for two years because if not, what happens is let's say that your premium is 37 $37 a month, and you last for 18 months, they're going to give you 18 times $37. That's, that's it. And that doesn't matter what insurance company that you're with. Now, if out an accidental death policy, it's like $12 a month, 15, 20, 24, depending on how much you take. And if you die of an accident, which 90% of our youth from the age of 18 to 40 die from an accident. They don't die from, you know, unless it's That's cancer true. or something like that. They don't usually die from something like stroke or heart attack or, you know, so on and so forth. That accidental right. policy is going to pay out because you accidentally died. Right. And at least you have something. That makes sense. And that's cheaper than whole life. So would you re recommend people have that when they have like teenage and young adult children that are out here driving and moving about the world? And I guess, wait, let me back that up before you answer that. What are your thoughts on having policies on your children? Um, all my kids got life insurance because you never know what's going to happen. Like we not die. We don't right. know what's going to happen. And, you know, for example, there was an eight-year-old boy that just um, went missing here in Texas. Autistic young man, um, African-American, and he went missing at like 4.30 in the morning when his parents were asleep. They found him the next day. Uh -huh. He drowned in the, in the, the uh, bayou right by our house. Oh. If his, his parents didn't have life insurance, then they still have to come up with $15,000. Maybe a little, yeah. a little bit cheaper because it's a baby, but you still have to come up with that money. Right. See, 
It happens. Oh. <laughs> um, Gerber is a guaranteed issue company. So they'll issue a policy to anyone. But you don't want to just go with someone that is going to issue. Don't get me wrong. I sell Gerber. If that and if I can't get you covered somewhere, I'm going to get you covered there. Because I don't believe in not having coverage. Um, so you, you want to go with a reputable company that's going to pay out in, in a timely fashion. So do your research. I don't care if you get it from me or if you get it from Joe next door. If he recommends a company, do your research on that company because you want to know who's going to pay. You don't want your family sitting around waiting on you to get paid on the insurance. Because the funeral home is not waiting. The they day sure. of or the day before, they want their money closed out. Or they want to at least talk to the insurance company to know that the check is on the way. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. They want that. That's a fact. That's a business, too. At the end of the day, it's business. It ain't personal. They, they need to be paid. For the services that they go on. Mutual Home Omaha is one of my favorites. I love Mutual Home Omaha. They're kind of hard to get to get um accepted, but I love Mutual Home Omaha. I have them as a carrier as well. I work with them. So you have a question. It says, What do you recommend for a 53 year old woman that's healthy? Uh, what state are you in? If you're if you're watching and you can't comment, it's because you're not following. You have to follow the page in order to be able to comment. But you guys can ask your questions in the question box um, because I, she has a lot of information. I know you guys have a lot of questions, and I'm glad that you know those of you that are able to catch this are asking your questions and getting it out there because a lot of us don't know about life insurance what you know is you go get a policy you pay on the policy you pass away and that's it but then you don't know the little stipulations the guidelines or the, the things that you can add in addition to your life insurance um is there such a thing while we wait on her to give out the address to the well not address the state where she is um, is there such a thing as having whole life and accidental? Yeah, like, is there a policy that covers all of that, or are they separate? Um, you can do both with the same carrier. Um, I would just keep it real with you. I like Mutual of Omaha for accidental. I like, okay. I like Mutual of Omaha for accidental. Yeah. Okay. That's who I would recommend. That's who I would write your policy through for the accidental is Mutual of Omaha. And there's a such thing as stacking so if you have like I have more than one insurance policy with more than one company there's a such thing as stacking so if you mm -hmm. you can stack I believe it's up to five depending on the state that you're in don't quote me on that but um you can stack your insurance so the reason I say stacking is because life is life and in times we be falling on hard times. So like if something happens that I'm not able to pay, let's say Johnny Craig's life insurance company, but I can afford to pay Jenny Craig's life insurance company this month, then I'm, I'm going to, one of them is going to pay out. They both doing the same thing. You know what I mean? So like I have a hundred thousand with one, I have 500,000 with another, I have different companies. So, you know what I mean? Because some companies only allow you to go up to 150,000. 150, so, if I know I need, my house is worth more than 150,000. So, I know, like, if, if I die, I need my house to be paid off so that my kids and my great right. something. So, I need something a little bit bigger than that. And it's okay to do term life and whole life. Oh, Miss Carletta, we have a guest requesting to come up right now. Okay. Please don't come up here and start Who's no that? mess. Yo, son. <laughs> he, he got a whole life policy. Shoot. He got, shoot. You better come up here and talk about your insurance policy that you got. Up, oh, he might have left up out the live. Wait, I don't know. No, he's still there. Okay, so in the question box I have for you, um, do you recommend a policy on babies and toddlers in the case of something unexpected like sex? Uh, yes, I recommend a policy on babies and toddlers. I don't. It, babies can be um, on life insurance at the age of, I believe, six weeks. I got to do my little bit more research because I haven't written a baby in a while, a newborn baby in a while. But let me say this. 
if you're a parent and we know this is exists we know it happens do you want to be able to mourn your child or do you want to be worried about how you're going to pay to bury your child i'm so glad you said that because like i like i was sharing you don't when you have to worry about how you're going to pay for this and how you're going to pay for that you don't have time to mourn you cannot properly you cannot grieve, grieve properly so, when you're worried about running around paying bills. It's the same thing. And then by the time you do, you crashing out. You crash mm -hmm. out because you never properly grieved. And that's the problem with us. We pack on so much trauma because death is trauma. So now here you already have all this other trauma that you packed on. And then you, you packing on some more. And now you're kicking out okay. around and you expect to be... Um, he want to know why the comments is off. I, I don't care. The com comments are, okay, what it is, is you have to follow me in order to be able to comment on the live. That's kind of how I weed out people. How desperate are you to come and troll? Because then you literally have to follow me, and then you could comment. So if you want to um come up, Maine, you can, or you want to ask a, com a comment in the comment section, you can. You just got to follow this page. That's all. Um, let's see. I live in Florida and I have insurance given by my employer. I'm 47, but since you recommended getting additional insurance in case I leave my job, what is recommended for me? I have some pre existing health issues such as diabetes, high blood pressure, etc. Okay, so with diabetes, no complications. Have you had any complications? Are you male or female? Female. female. Um, when's the last time you have you had any complications with your diabetes? I'm gonna do some quotes real quick. <laughs> it's a female, no complications. Okay. And last question is, when were you diagnosed? This is good. I'm glad y'all tuning in. Main waiting on me to order. So we're on this. So while we wait for her answer so i got into a little bit of trouble on my other page they took my my live away so i had to come over to this page <laughs> yeah oh she said a few years okay, back so i'm gonna just go 2020 if that's okay with you Yeah, if you guys have, have any questions, I have a couple more questions, but I'm going to go one at a time. Um, she said that works for you to go back 2020. Um, Y'all can ask the question in the question box, and then we'll get the question up there to her. But take some notes, guys. Get a pen and pad out. Take some notes on some things, because this is important information that everybody needs to know. Because while you think you may know something, it's not until you sit down with somebody who actually knows, knows, that you realize you don't know everything. All right. And I'm going to just go with the average height unless she wants to tell me her weight. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with 195. I'm going to just go with that because most people that have diabetes have a little bit of weight issues. So for... $30,000 for somebody that is 5'6", female, in the state of Florida with high blood pressure and diabetes, and 195 pounds, you can get $30,000 for $58.27. That's still not, not bad. And that's with diabetes. Um, well, I'll get all of that information for you guys. Um, I know somebody had asked how to get in contact with her. We'll get all of that information um, to you guys at the end of it so you guys can get to my, her because I know a lot of you guys were asking me, like, what's her I'm website? I'm going to put my phone 
phone number and my website in the chat. Okay. And then and I'll pin it. All right. So then, okay. 48 years old, cancer survivor in Florida. What's a good policy? How long have you been cancer free? Now look, look here, don't you go calling that phone number, prank call. That's all right. They're going to get an automated voice recording if they do. <laughs> that ain't my, listen, that ain't my personal cell phone number. Ooh, yeah, that's wrong. It ain't 479, it's 470. Good looking, man. Good looking, man. Good looking, man. I'm trying to put both of them together on there. So when I pin it, it has the number and the um email on their side they have both and listen that. if um, i'm not licensed in your state please don't let that deter you from calling me because i work with a bunch of different agents that i'll find somebody that's licensed in your state that's gonna be willing to cover you I, you like i said this ain't about me personally this is about you so if i don't have your state which i got 24 but some states i just don't have um because i'm focusing mainly on California, Georgia, Ohio, Texas, Florida, North Carolina, I don't know, and a whole bunch more. You got New York. Are you licensed in New York? I am not York? licensed in New York because New York, <gasps> New York play a lot of games and they're real finicky and, and I'm licensed in Virginia. They play a lot of games. However, I have colleagues that are licensed in New York. That's okay. I'm moving. So yeah, anyway. New York, New York, New York is a regulated <laughs> state, just like Maryland, and they like. Yeah, New York and Illinois. Those are the two states that I just would rather not, because Illinois, like I was licensed there for years, and then when it came time for renewal, them folks was talking about almost six hundred dollars to renew. Baby, you don't want people to have life insurance in in Illinois if you charging the agents six hundred dollars to renew their Illinois license. I'm not doing it. Dang. I don't make make enough money in Illinois to um for all of that. Yes. Get multiple okay, insurance so from different providers. As long as you're not replacing. Yes, I do business in Indiana. Yes, I do business in Ohio. So Ohio is one of Ohio, California, and Florida, and Georgia, and Texas are my top performance states. So, so is that when you get multiple insurances, is that what you call stacking, call stacking. or is that just when you do different? So, okay. Yeah. See, look, we learn in terminology. Um, yes, New Jersey, yes to New Jersey. Okay. Yes okay. to Colorado. Is it possible a pregnant woman can get a policy on a fetus in case of a stillbirth? What kind that's of a girl? That's a good question, though. That's a very good question. So you what? can get insurance. I mean, it is a good question, but it's like, where are you? She's thinking. You can get insurance right <laughs> on yourself as a pregnant woman, but no, not as the, the baby. Um, that's just something that they haven't, um, that I haven't heard of. If they have it, um, Shoot me a text, and I'm gonna do my research. I'll let you know. I'll give you an answer by tomorrow. Cause now, I will. cause that is a good That's question. That's a very good question. Kansas, yes. License in Kansas. South Carolina, okay. yes. Um, License in South Carolina. All right. If you pass while your child is under 18, what's the best way to set the beneficiary up to where? A trust off. account. A trust account. Okay. A trust account. That's the best way. Somebody had asked about IULs. IULs are like the dopest thing on planet Earth. However, it's it, IUL is fully underwritten. So you have to go fully, you have to be fully underwritten to get an IUL. And the way to make an IUL make sense is zero to your age age for your monthly premium to make it make sense so like me my son has an iul he's 16. um when he retires 
at the age of 66 because I set it up for him to retire at 66. Um, I set it up for an IUL for him to ch retire at the age of 66. So with the IUL, he's going to, he pays right now $1,800 uh, $1, a year for his insurance. That's what I pay out for a year. Um, so when he turns 66, he'll be able to get him one hundred and four reading wrong $76 a year $77,556 a year yeah. yeah as an IUL he will stop paying a monthly age of 70 he turns 70 he will no longer make any payments on his 71st, they will start paying $77,556 a year. Now, his face amount is $131,250. His monthly premium is $150 a month. That's what I, what I pay for him, $150 a month. His face amount is $131,250. And if he decided that he no longer wanted his policy at the age of 66 years old he could surrender his policy and get forty six thousand one hundred and eighty four dollars now that's guaranteed or something that's why i say stack it that's guaranteed assumptions but he can take a loan out on his policy if he would like um the non-guaranteed assumption at the age of 66 is going to be four hundred thousand four hundred ninety one dollars the um with the alternative of four point seven five now with the <laughs> current interest rate of five point eight six y'all ready for this his insurance policy at the age of 66 will be worth seven hundred and fifteen thousand seven hundred and seventy seven dollars if he decides not to take out the loans and does not touch it at the age of 70, his death benefit will be worth $903,000. Wow. That's just, that's just that part. That's with me just paying $150 a month, right? Now, with this, he can also, he also has chronic, accelerated chronic um, illness uh, benefits included into this. And then he can also dump into his premiums $5,940.12 a year to make it go faster. And it's tax-free. Tax-free. So all tax, all insurance policies are tax-free when you get them out. Correct. It's tax-free. They can't come back and have you pay taxes tax on that money later. Free. Then whole know. life, yes, you yes, you can be overinsured, but the thing about it is when that when we say overinsured, what we mean is getting more than the five premium five policies, because then that's when they'll start looking at you. Why are you doing so many? But as long as you can pay those policies, um yeah, but you what you don't want to do is start writing up a whole bunch of policies and, and not paying them. Yeah, that makes sense. It, I mean, I think, and um, all the IULs have a monthly a minimum no lapse. So let's say I get in a bind, I can put twenty eight dollars and sixty six cents into his policy, and it won't lapse. However, it won't grow. It won't grow, but at least he'll still have life insurance. So that's that's what I mean. When you fall for hard times and you have an IUL, you need to look at your monthly minimum no lapse. And as long as you pay that, 
then you don't have to worry so, about it. So Miss Miss VP asks, how about getting insurance for one of your parents? I have life insurance, but I was inquiring getting insurance on my dad. I'm in New Jersey. You can get life insurance on your dad. Um you <laughs> these comments, bro. You can get life insurance <laughs> on your dad as long as your dad is a is willing to allow you to get life insurance because you do need the person's social security number and their permission. You do need it. You, you can't just wake up and be like, I want to insure my baby daddy. You might can, just not with me. I ain't willing to risk my license for um <laughs> for you to be insuring your baby daddy and your, your cousin and your auntie and them. Annuity, amazing. Okay. Like, instead of paying a 401k you need to be dumping that into an annuity plan um as oh what, what is, is that, is that? Actually, tell us what that is before we yeah, ask the question somebody put you on the game boo i like that <laughs> um i do annuities too um it's not my it's not my field of choice because it's a lot that goes with it, but I, I do do annuities too. I mean, I will do them. I do do them. And sometimes I don't, I'm not highly educated on them, but I have a team behind me that is highly educated. And I'm not one of the people that if I have something, if, if I don't, if I can't do something for you, I'm going to point you in the right direction for them to do something for you. So if you're looking for an annuity, See, and that's good. Um, that 401k and that 403b baby you need an annuity unless your company is still paying into that 401k and that 403b and they have restrictions you need an annuity because you got heard that everybody is is helping grant yes you can assure your grandchildren yes does your health record decipher your policy and how much you pay so yes and no you can still get coverage because depending on what state you are in you can still get coverage however your premium may be a little bit higher but you can still get whole life insurance okay um 59 with high blood pressure how much would a $99,000 policy cost i live in maryland so I wouldn't write you a $99,000 policy at 59 because it's going to be, be it's, it's going to be expensive. I mean, I, I I could offer it to you. I wouldn't personally write it. Um, I would, I would let you go. I would introduce you to somebody that would be willing to take that risk, but I wouldn't personally write it because I'm a realistic agent. Like I believe in you pay for what you, you get. And at your age, getting a $99,000 policy, is is as whole life is going to be astronomical which means it's going to result in a possible chargeback because if something comes up at your age with your health or anything that goes wrong the first thing that you're going to not pay is your life insurance and to me that's not good business practice why give you something that i know that could prevent you from paying that is going to initially fall back on me later on in life so okay. I, I would more or less tell you um asthma yes i can insure you i would more or less tell you that i would i, I mean i'm not going to turn you down I'll, I'll point you to somebody that will be willing to take that risk but i i wouldn't be willing to take that risk not for ninety nine thousand. not at your age <laughs> because it'll be like first of all 99 thousand where do they come up with that number that's the first, first thing so let's just say what is that 59 yes 1959 nope she said 69 years old 1953 well she said 59 oh, 59 yeah okay yeah 59 Let's just say she said high Let's blood pressure and diabetes, or did she just say high blood pressure? 
Let me put it back up there. She said high blood pressure. Okay, so let's take the diabetes out. 280 dollars and 26 cents for a um, thousand and that's with a very reputable company and for nine it would be two seven Seventy-seven forty-six. You might as well go on and spend the extra three dollars and pay two two eighty, and get a whole thousand more. Not worth it. I'm licensed in Tennessee. Asthma, um, fifty-nine, thirty-five thousand. Three hundred and fifty-five. Hey, hey, hey. hey. We, if the live keeps <laughs> acting up, you know, then we may have to reschedule. But yeah, my mom, I'm at my mom's house visiting and she doesn't remember the password to her Wi-Fi because she doesn't give her Wi-Fi password out. Uh, I can't re reset it. And she's got bad reception in her house. So I've got to sit very okay. still right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, if worst case scenario, I... um. We can, I can go live on mine, and then if we get dropped off again, you can just come back when you want to come back if they want to continue. Yeah, you could. If you do, you guys want to do that? I mean, we could, we could finish up, and then you know. But yeah, you absolutely can do that. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm probably gonna so, drop so off. <laughs> Maybe I need to get his ass here so he can show me how to do it because I ain't all that tech savvy. Um, but it's okay. I took my little break. Um, Pammy Dose, it was your comment. It was your comment. <laughs> uh, I took well, my they break. already got questions for you in the box. <laughs> they, they, they must have been thinking about them questions like, all right, when she goes live, yeah. I'm going to ask this question. Yeah. So let's try to see what we can get what we can get done. And if it drops again, then yeah, just go live okay. from your page. And okay. I'm sure they will all follow. Okay. All right. So okay. Uniquely said, would it be expensive to insure a 29-year-old male amputee cancer survivor in Florida? 20 years cancer-free, six foot one, about 165 nope. pounds. Because it's been 20 years. Wow. Two so years. how does that work with you cancer? You have to be cancer-free two years. Two years, cancer-free. Two years. So they won't insure you if you have cancer or would it be more expensive? Um, so there are some companies that are guaranteed issues. So I can get you insured. But the thing about it is it's going to be that that two years doesn't go away. You still have to survive two years after having your policy. Gotcha. So, it's, so let me tell you what insurance is about. Car insurance, life insurance, all of that is designed to put you in back into the same position that you were in. It's not designed to put you in a better position. So with car insurance, let's say that you have a $30,000 vehicle. That's the cash value of the vehicle. The insurance is going to pay you out the cash value of the vehicle because it's not designed to put you in a better position. It's designed to put you back in the same position. So it's to ensure that you don't lose what you had. It's with right. Life. So if you already start out and you have cancer, they're not going to pay your family $100,000 in the middle of cancer. But if right. you already had the policy, then they're going to pay it out. But not so too late. But if for someone that had, that had cancer 20 years ago, yes, they'll, they'll cover you. Okay. They'll wow. cover you. Okay. Yeah. Now, I don't know why it didn't come across the screen, but there's another question in the box. All right, it was this one. What companies do you recommend we not use? So as a fiduciary, I'm not allowed to tell you who I recommend that you don't use um, because everything that I say, I'm held accountable for. So I can't tell you who you don't use. I can just tell you my personal opinion who I'm not going to use, 
is somebody i read google reviews on everything i don't care what it is i'm going to read the google reviews if the google reviews is saying that it took them a month and 10 days to pay out a claim i'm not using it i need somebody's going to pay out that's quick. quick because that's true then we you know seven days is the most that you want to keep somebody's body on, on even with being embalmed and everything like why why is it taking you a month to pay the insurance company and the insurance company don't want to really work with you the funeral homes are going to tell you who they don't want to work with uh -huh. so that's where you start you can't start with me but you can start with the local funeral home that you want to use and ask them who is the the insurance carrier that is least likely to pay the death benefit in the event of a death and then you you can tell your agent or your broker, I don't want to use X, Y, and Z insurance. Now, this one is 48 years old, three years cancer-free, high blood pressure controlled in Florida. So let me, before I answer that one, let me tell the young lady that asked me about the $35,000. Um, $108.32 is... Um, Kind of like the cheapest, usual Omaha, Omaha is a little bit cheaper than that, but this one company that I'm looking at is like $6 more, and they have a li living legacy preferred, and then there are a couple that have like um, guaranteed issues as well, but with me, for the companies that I have, I would write you with either Mutual of Omaha or Baltimore Life. That's who I would write you. And what was the next one that you just said? Florida um, Insurance. And that uh, was for Tennessee. Yes. Well, that one was, okay. So that was for Miss Tam, mm -hmm. Miss Pammy. All right. So mm -hmm. this one is 48 years old, three years cancer-free, high blood pressure controlled in Florida. Florida. Male or female? Female. Where my men at? Y'all don't believe y'all need it? I invited them. They they not coming. They be our so. And that's crazy. Forty eight. So that mean they was born in seventy six, right? Three years ago is twenty one. Is this the one with cancer? Um, um, no, the MPT? they're cancer-free, but they Is have it, high blood pressure. Is the MPT, though, or no? No, that was the other one. So before the cancer, b before the MPT one, Yes, I have two companies that will cover you at $35,107.25 is the uh, estimate um, to be in a ballpark figure. Um, yes, the one that has high blood pressure that is controlled, $35,000, we are looking at $70.80, 77 on the highest side, 77.89 on the highest side. So let me break it down. That's a bottle. That's a bottle of uh, tequila, Don Julio. 
and that that that's what you're gonna put in that little uh what it, what they call it the backwood that's that's one bottle and one sack for the backwood a month let's just keep it real I mean, she broke that down very perfectly. <laughs> I, I be having to break it down because most of my people be young people that be like, don't know. And I'm like, bro, this is what you would pay for a bottle of Hennessy. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> you, you just cut out the one bottle of Hennessy a month. Buy two. And you be all right. And you good. You good. <laughs> and then you ain't got to worry about leaving your mama with something especially when you know you in them streets doing shit you ain't got no been in doing please let me just get you let me just get you if you ain't getting nothing but just let me get you fifteen thousand. if you ain't gonna do nothing else don't leave your mama with i was that. just about to say if they in them streets you better get at least that at least, okay. at least that like you might not can't get the t-shirts but god damn, get something and i and i i'm not saying nothing to y'all that i wouldn't say to my kids like i'm gonna say this to my kids like bro you you know you ain't doing right at least let me just you know let me get you to commit to thirty dollars thirty right but for my age i i you know i pay i'm 50 i've had my policy probably about six years the i'm gonna go with the lowest policy which is i think a hundred thousand and jermaine you're not the beneficiary so try me <laughs> You know your sister the beneficiary. She ain't giving your ass a dime if you don't do right. But anyway, um, <laughs> but um, for that policy, I think I pay uh sixty five dollars a month for, and it's with a five star company. But I've had it for way my premium. So if I don't want to go, where I just like I get deathly ill and I I can't afford to worry about the house and. Yeah, I can let the other one go just a little higher, and I still don't have to leave my kid with something with no debt. Like, the goal right. is to not leave your loved ones trying to figure it out at the last minute. That's the goal, to not leave your loved ones trying to figure it out at the last minute, because at the last minute, it's just like, they already, like, do you understand the process of, I got I, I to gotta bury my child? or I got to bury my mama, or I got to bury my daddy, on top of, I don't have the money to bury my mama or my dad. You know what I'm saying? And then if you come in a bind, you know what I'm saying, you can cash it in, but I don't I don't recommend you cashing in unless you have multiple policies. But, like, let me just say this. You know, my kids got their little hometown. They had uh, where they came, you know, where they grew up at, where they went to high school at. They didn't grow up there. They just went to high school there. They had three friends that they grew up with pass in a two-month time frame. Three. Yeah. And it's just like, these are kids that I know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yes, I offer mortgage protection. Yes. That's so Selena is asking 46 female California overall healthy but anemic and will be donating a kidney this year. You better get the insurance before you donate the kidney. You have to get the insurance before you donate the kidney. You will be uninsurable. Really? You have to get the, the, yeah. I mean, you can get a guaranteed life policy, but mm -hmm. like. Okay, so now what is like Colonial Pen? Are those guaranteed life? It depends. Colonial Pen, they've been around for a long time. You got to Google them. I don't work with Colonial Pen. Okay. I don't work with Colonial Pen. But. They've been around for a very long time, and they're they're a very prestigious company. But at the end of the day, whole life is better than term life. And then you have the bottom line is you got to find somebody that you can trust that's going to give you the best product available for you. Period. Oh, okay. You have to 
find somebody that you can trust. Somebody that's offering you term life at the age of 30 and 40 years old doesn't have your best interest at heart. Uh, if you don't have a whole life as well. Term life is cool, don't get me wrong. Um, True Sage, I, 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 True Sage has a lot of different companies up under them. Well, let me just say that. They're a brokerage as well. So, term life is for a term of your life. So, okay. you want to make sure okay. if you have term life, you still have whole life. Because stuff comes up. And I don't want anybody who's going to tell me that I have an expiration date. I have to die within 20 years. So, that's what, that's what term life term is. Life is 20 or 30 years. And you wow. can convert it over into whole, but it's not going to be as cheap as it would have been for you to get whole life right now. Mm. So Goddess says, what is the first step to starting to becoming a, an insurance agent? Where is the best place to get your license? So you have to get, get your license in your home state, and then you can purchase licenses in other states. Um, and then you need an FMO. That's going to help you um, get different carriers. But I, I want to tell you that insurance is a risk because we are another bill. We're another bill. When times yeah. get hard, people have to make a choice between life insurance and rent. They're always going to choose the rent over you. Period. So you may yes. be in a situation where you write a policy, which is why I said earlier, I'm not writing you a policy for $280 if I know that you can't afford $280 a month. If I know that you're going to choose the rent or the car note over that $280 payment. But Reach out to me, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you the game. Ooh, yes, sassy girl, them chargebacks, baby. <laughs> them chargebacks, them chargebacks. They be something, something to deal with. What are ways one could get a, a discount? Discount on what? Life insurance? I don't. I don't. Not possible. You. The way you can get a discount is writing a policy that you know you can afford. So what I ask my clients, I ask my clients is send me your date of birth, your height and your weight, and a comfortable monthly payment. You. I tell you what you can get for that amount. So if you say. Hey, Miss Carletta, I can only afford forty-five dollars a month. I'll tell you how much you can get for forty-five dollars a month. And if I see that it's just short of fifteen thousand, I'm gonna say if you raise about five dollars, I can get you to pull fifteen thousand. Now, see, I like that because some places won't do that. Yeah, but see, the goal is not just to get you insured; it's to keep you insured. Insured. I don't believe in you wasting your money just for me to have a, a couple dollars in my pocket. If it's, it, yeah, it's, I'm going to get paid, but are you going to keep it? Is, right. Is it going to benefit you? Because I'm not trying to make money off of you. I'm trying to make sure that you are covered. Like, our community doesn't, we have people to tell people in our community that getting life insurance is a curse. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard it too. But, and we're the ones that, you know, we don't have it. And we're the ones that are doing GoFundMes and, you know, online asking for people to help you with burying your loved one I at the say, end of the day. Like, I don't know, but somebody sent me a link today and said, could you help with such and such? And my response was no, because such and such was here. And I've been doing life insurance for the past five years. And such and such didn't even reach out to me and say, hey, can I get enough to bury me? And this is all I can afford. So why would I take from my children and my family 
and my legacy to help you when you wouldn't even secure your own legacy with your own children. I know that's right. And even if you, like, like I said, 30,000 is ideal. 30,000 says I'm going to pay $15,000 for my funeral services. And then I have $15,000 left over. If you have one kid, that's 15 months worth of rent for that one kid. 15 months worth of rent. Because you got to remember, when we pass away, it's unexpected. Our kids are not expecting us to leave them. And then right. how many of our kids are in a position to be like, I could pay everything without my mama's help. I could do everything without my daddy's help. I could do everything. So now here we go. We give you a thousand dollars. It might not be the same amount of help that we had originally given you, but it's something. It's it, I look at it like it's like giving you Section Eight for fifteen months. That's a good way of looking at it. I gave it. you Section Eight for fifteen because months. Your rent fifteen hundred dollars. I gave you a thousand for fifteen months. Now what you do with that thousand is on you. But I know that I left this earth giving you fifteen thousand dollars to help you transition for the next year to figure out what you're going to do because that first year of me being gone can make or break you, especially if you're right. depending on me. Right. It can make or break you. So I just, you just got you a little bit of Section 8. So 34 female, mm -hmm. Ohio, mm -hmm. healthy, other than pre-existing back conditions. 34 female, Ohio. Are you, what is your weight like? 1990. 89. I'm going to just say you 185. Thirty-five thousand is forty-seven dollars and ninety-three cents. You said thirty-five. Five thousand is forty-five. So if she want to keep it under forty, let's just say forty dollars is a comfortable amount for her every month. That will get her twenty-three thousand one hundred forty-six dollars. So that's still the fifteen thousand for the final expenses with a little, little bit to spare on top. A little bit to spare on top. And that's just just the bare minimum. But if she wanted to do thirty thousand, eat just a flat rate of thirty thousand. Ooh. Put that in the wrong column. <laughs> Might be this Don Roberto. Um <laughs> forty one dollars and eight cents is what thirty thousand dollars would get. That's that's good. And that's whole life. Now, let me ask you something. Do you see a lot of people coming to you trying to get life insurance where they're trying to make sure their kids are wealthy after they pass yeah. on? Yeah, they are. I do see a lot of people to come to me and then I'm the person that's going to be realistic. Like, here's the reality of it. Do you see your kids doing right with that money? I know I do. So you're, you're getting ready to spend <laughs> right now. You got, you got to think about the long haul. You're going to be 65 years old. When you turn 65, you get Medicare Part A and Part B, which, by the way, I sell Medicare Part A. I mean, I, I write Medicare and Part A and Part B supplement and um, Medicare Advantage plans. So you're going to be, and this is why I know this, you're going to be 65 years old. And you wanted to do a $500,000 policy at the age of 32. And let's just say that that $500,000 policy costs you $265 a month. You can afford that until you retire. And now you're 65 and you're retiring. And Social Security um, is giving you $1,100 a month. Let's just say $1,100 a month. Are you really going to take $265 out of that $1,100 a month and pay for your life insurance? Hell no. So now what has happened is you have wasted your money for 30-something years because you're 
65 and you can't afford to pay it. And nine times mm. out of 10, you're not going to think, let me pull up my life insurance policy and call them and see if I can cash out on this or what can I do with it? Because let's be real. We take these policies, we get them in the mail and we tuck them away in the drawer because we know we got it and they taking the money out of our check every month. And that's what they banking on. We don't even put and it somewhere you, where our kids don't. can find it. So now you have invested this money all of these years and then you can't afford it. And then you didn't even reach out to the company to say, hey, I can't afford 265 a month. Can I sell my policy to you guys? Take the cash value of my policy and go and buy me a term life policy and pay for it annually instead of monthly just to put myself in a better position. You're not going to do that. So I, I'm the person that's going to be real with you and tell you like, like, listen, I get it. You want to make your kids rich, but if you're not rich, why would you try to make your kids rich? That makes all the sense in the world to me. Instead of making cause... your kids comfortable without having to worry about how I'm going to put mama or daddy in the ground. I sell some strange things for a piece of change, but I ain't selling nothing for no fifteen thousand dollars worth of life insurance. <laughs> Not for, I know that's listen, right. She better call me right now and say she needed, but she got a good policy, and I I can't argue with it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm I'm not doing that for my so mom. I'm not this, for my kids. I'm not doing. No, well, I'm not going to go broke. <laughs> y'all better like, some of my, put some me my... away and then divvy up what y'all got to divvy up and figure it out. Because I'm going to make sure y'all got a little something to help you out at least a couple of months after I'm gone. But we're not going to have a, 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 you know, if I'm, I'm not yeah, living a lavish life. You, we you. all got one, one kid that ain't going to divvy up nothing. Mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. They're going to leave the other kid. They're going to be too distraught. Oh, mama go. Mama go. Let my siblings figure it out. Yeah, we all got one kid that's going to do that. Some of them got two. So, Miss me. I have, yeah, I was about to say, I have two of them like that. <laughs> so, Miss VP said, what type of plan can I get for about 50 a month for a 65-year-old man with high blood pressure in New Jersey? His age is going to play a factor. His Age is definitely going to play a factor. The longer you wait to get the policy, the more expensive it is. 1964. 57. 57. She said 65. Yes. He was born in 1959. But 65, she can get right at 14973 for one company, $15,181 for the other company. Mutual of Omaha, she can get about 16000 but depending on if he can pass the underwriting. Okay, so do you explain what the underwriting is? So the underwriting is a bunch of health questions. He wasn't bothering you. I was looking for him. But he wasn't bothering you. Oh, right. <laughs> Come on, people. Come on. Come on. Um... So the underwriting is a bunch of healthcare questions that they're going to ask. They're going to ask about medications, illnesses, pre-existing conditions. It's a lot of things that could deny you. Um, give me one second. Let me pull up a list of one of my carriers because I just had somebody that got denied today for this particular carrier, but I put them through to another carrier. And the underwriting, that's done by a doctor? That's done by, the, by your physician? That's done by the insurance company. Ah. 
insurable for these insurance companies um, to want to insure you. You have to be insurable. So different companies ask different underwriting questions. Like I have one insurance company that will ask the question, have you been convicted of a felony? You have to be one year felony free in order to be able to get insurance. Really? That, that makes so a difference too? This one company for this one company. Wow. Do they check your credit no, score? They don't. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, if they check credit scores, I know a lot of people that's not going to get approved. <laughs> Honey. I got, I got somebody to work on that with you too. I don't do it. I used to do it. I, I don't have the patience for that no more. Y'all better hit Miss Carlotta up. She the plug. Listen, she do I'm life the insurance. The she do Medicaid. I mean, Medicare Part A and B. She can plug you in with somebody for your credit. I mean, come on. So, one of the reasons for denial for this one company that I work with, this is one of my favorite companies. One of my favorite companies. But they go by your med. So let me say this. Let me tell y'all something. Felonies and driving records, yes. But let me tell y'all something. You know how we go to the doctor and the doctor recommends that we take something because we got a pain in our knee? Mm -hmm. Stop letting these doctors prescribe you shit. Stop letting them prescribe you shit. you got to start asking questions. Why are you giving this to me? What do I need this for? Even if you don't go get it prescribed, if they put that as part of your medical information background, it's an MIB. That's what it's called, the medical information background. Um, and when they do that in MIB, that's pulling up all your business and then some. So when we go to the doctors and we complaining about my sinuses and they write you a prescription for something for sinuses, you need to be asking questions before they write the, don't put that in my medical information background. You have control of what goes into your medical information background but we have the tendency of going to the doctor and just trusting everything that they say because they, they they're true. the doctors and they went to school for it i i started asking questions like wait why you want me to take this what is that gonna do how is that gonna affect me because right they, they can look at your medical information background and deny you based on the prescription that you have i had a young lady get denied even if you don't take them? I had a young lady get denied for getting a prescription for Ozempic. She got the prescription prescribed to her. Her doctor put it in her medical information background. She could not afford to pay for the Ozempic out of pocket and her insurance wouldn't cover it. And it prevented her from getting life insurance from one of my top carriers. And she never yeah, I better stay off that, that a day in her life. Never took it a day in her life. So that's what I mean by stop taking stuff that they just, you know, giving us and they want to give it to us mainly. mainly. Stop doing that. Right. Stop doing that. Now, I didn't say I couldn't get her covered. I said she couldn't get covered by the company I wanted to get her covered by that I knew was like a phenomenal company. And I use them as my go-to because if they deny you, then I'll say, okay, they deny her so I know this one gonna die her, this one's gonna deny her, this one gonna deny her. Let me just use this one because I know that they don't care about that. Oh, Miss uh, Carletta, there's a part two to this question that's on the screen. So it would be a 65 year old man with high blood pressure. What did she say? Is that her? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Well, she said, well, she asked a different question. I thought it was a continuation to this one, but it says, how about National Life Group? I don't work with them, not because, um, <clears throat> so I have 15 different carriers and they're, they're the carriers that I carefully selected. So I don't have anything to say negatively or positively about National Life Group, but I like carriers that have been around for a long time and that haven't had any issues. I, I like okay. I like Fidelity and Guarantee. I like Baltimore Life. I like Mutual of Omaha. I like Gerber. 
I like um, Gerber's Guaranteed Issue. Um, I like um, Liberty Bankers. I like uh, um, Lincoln Heritage. I like insurance companies that fit your, your needs. So I, what I do is I do a need analysis to see what's going to best get you covered. And then I, I go and you have fidelity which your job is different from fidelity and guarantee. Fidelity is the green and white. Fidelity guaranteed is purple and gold. Um, but I, I, I like companies. I do the research on the companies, and I, and I try to make sure that your needs are going to be fit. I, I need to make sure that they're going to cover my people because my goal is to not get you insured, is to keep you insured. Do the reviews on Affleck. Just had a customer call me today. Yes, Mutual of Omaha and Fidelity are a really good company. I just had a customer call me today. That they have been fighting with Affleck to pay their hospital and dominity claim for the last four months. They're, I like customer service. Um, um, why, nah, Lincoln Heritage would have gave you more than ten thousand. That was your that was your representative. That only wanted to give you ten thousand. Wow. You gotta remember, we brokers, and we like we not supposed to judge, but we we gotta judge because like we don't like chargebacks. I would rather write five small policies than write one big policy because the five small policies, if they give if they don't pay them, I could afford to pay what I got in advance. But that right. policy, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to give no insurance company $5,000 for some, I would rather pay your insurance bill than to give them $5,000 and you still don't have insurance. That's right. crazy to me. Mm -mm, I'm not doing that. So Kristen wants to know, can you explain more about taking loans out of your life insurance? So you have to allow it time to build up. Edna is one, and CVS doesn't either. Um, it doesn't penalize. So with loans taking it out of your, taking a loan out, you have to allow the money to build up. It doesn't make sense to take out a small loan. Like if you're gonna take out a big loan, for example, this particular person that I wrote, she, she after having her policy for five years, the cash value of that policy was only four hundred and eighty nine dollars. Because you got to remember, she she didn't put much into it. Oh, and the more gotcha. you put into it, the more you can borrow from it. That's why I like IULs because IULs you can dump your whole income tax return into an IUL. Let's say like your IUL, my son's IUL, I can dump fifty one hundred dollars a year into his IUL, so I, I can turn around and borrow that tax free. Right. But it is, you pay into it to get more out of it. But if you're just waiting on the insurance company to bill for you, it's going to take you some time to build it. And you can borrow off of your policy. You just can't borrow more than what your policy is worth because it'll cash it out as a cash value. So, like, if you have a $30,000 policy and you borrow $30,000, then you really just sold your policy back to them. Um. Miss MD wants to know, do the insurance companies ask about COVID? Some of them do, but majority of them don't. And then COVID is not something that, um, some, something that we really have to, even though it's still growing and potent right now, even though we think it's not, it is, it's still affecting people. That's not something mm -hmm. that they're going to ask about unless you had like kidney failure due to COVID or if you had like lung failure due to COVID or something like that, then that would be something where you would need to go with a guaranteed issue. How would that be, would that, Stop. that would be covered under life insurance, what? right? If someone were to pass away from COVID? Yeah. yeah. Everything is covered under life insurance except suicide. Gotcha. Um, 
Niche says, 39-year-old female, Pennsylvania, with no medical issues and 220 pounds. Full-term life, 80K. Oh, I like you. <laughs> what was her age? 39? Uh, 39. I mean, she was born in 89? Nope. No. Uh, 86. 85. I was gonna say <laughs> she said no medical issues, right? No, no issues. Oh, she said Pennsylvania, not New Jersey. Hundred and one dollars and twenty two cents. You said a hundred and one dollars and twenty two cents. You better jump on that. <laughs> yep, $101.22. And I put you at 5'3", 220 pounds. Okay. Um, Izzy asks, could I get denied life insurance coverage if I have medical debt? If you have medical debt? No. Medical debt don't got nothing to do with it. It, it it's it's depending on what they put in your medical information background that got, got you that debt all right and then we're gonna take Kristen um what is the difference in an agent and a broker and which would you recommend getting licensed in broker well you have to be licensed as an agent period you have to be licensed as a producer, producer agent. Um, an agent works with one company. A broker works with multiple companies. So you, you would be a I broker? I would definitely be a broker. But you have to be an agent in order to be a broker. And don't go anywhere where it's going to make you captive. Nobody is going to okay. hold you to a contract with a, with a, with a gun to your head saying that you got to pay, you got to make a certain amount of money before, um, before they'll release you, or you got to make a certain amount of money before they'll commission you. You always want to go as a broker and you want to negotiate your, your rate. Um, I definitely would like to get a quote for a family of okay. four. Um, let me pin my number again. And you can give me a call tomorrow or over the weekend. I'm traveling. When am I traveling? Um, send me send me a text with your height, weight, and date of birth for all of the people that you want to quote, and as well as your state. And um, I'll get you a quote real quick. Um, ooh, I'll grab. Put my personal phone number. Stop. Stop. Don't do no, that because they will definitely be calling you. Girl, I got an iPhone. I will block you. Listen, I will block you. <laughs> Listen, listen here. I block folks. I, bl I know that's I block right. family members, baby. <laughs> I block family members. I don't know about Marilyn, but let me say this. If I don't, I don't mind getting, getting, I had, I had 50 states. I let some of them go because I wasn't doing business in them. And it's expensive to keep paying for your licenses in different states. But if, if I don't have your state and I know that you really want a policy in your state, it's going to take me 48 hours to get your state. That's it. That's yeah, it. I'm not adding. I'm not adding those states if I know I ain't got no business in them states. You can't make money. Then you make money. No, she's not licensed in New York. She said New York plays too many games. But that don't don't don't, don't let that deter you. But she will if you serious about giving her that business. That's what she said. And not only that, said. even if you're not serious about giving me that business, please don't let that deter you from reaching out to me because I have a team that I work with. So I'm sure all I got to do is add your information to the um to our team chat, 
somebody's license in New York. So, so if you I just pin my phone number and my email, I mean, my website. If I'm not licensed in your state, please don't let that deter you from getting life insurance. Reach out to me. Everybody that I work with has great ethics. I wouldn't work with them if they didn't. And whatever I can't do, they can do for you. Somebody's licensed in New York. All I got to do is hit them up in the chat and be like, who's licensed in New York? And, and I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to pick the person that I think is going to benefit you the best out of my team because i don't i mean just because they my team don't mean i rock with everybody so if i don't feel like they're gonna do good for my people i'm not gonna i'm not gonna refer you to them i'm gonna refer you to somebody that i know is gonna do good for you and see i can respect that because some people wouldn't do that they just put you wherever whatever and that's it but you actually care about people and that's what yeah, I like. I, I like that. Need so everybody much. to be insured. Like 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 listen, this this life is life and every day. Like people is leaving here unexpected. We not you know, we we all got what what we got guaranteed is a death day. We don't know what that date is until that day come, but like we can't keep leaving our kids to figure it out or our parents to figure it out. Exactly. Look at our parents pay for life insurance. Like I hear people, my mama got a policy on me, and that's your mama policy on you. <laughs> oh, and please don't get it twisted. You let your baby daddy get a policy on you. You let your baby mama get a policy on you. They don't gotta bury you. They don't. That's they money. They pay for it. They don't gotta bury you. I'm gonna just keep it one hundred. I got a policy on my baby daddy. I'm not burying that Negro. That money is going to my right. children. I'm not burying them. But I let them know up front, like, yeah, I'm not burying you. You, you, you need to make sure that somebody gonna bury you. Cause I'm not doing it. You got a policy on me. You ain't gonna bury. Me? No, I'm gonna get that to your kids so that they can be in a better position. I know that's right, and I don't see nothing wrong with no, that. because that's my policy. You ain't paid for it every month. I did. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm, I'm not. I need to it. get my You can call me heartless. Sure. You can call me whatever you want to call me. But the reality of it is I paid for it. It's mine. I can do what I want with it. Well, definitely, y'all reach out to Miss Carletta. Um, did uh, Culture okay. Boutique. The cult, I mean, culture closet. Let's talk about some culture closet before we go because I know Instagram gonna come talking about two minute. Words. Okay, okay, so culture closets, um, is right now it's an online boutique, but I am going to be opening up a location here in Houston. Um, boy, I went to the club this weekend and I was like, ooh, I could dress her, I could dress her, I could dress him. She just needs a little bit of this he might need a little bit of that so yeah like fashion has always been my thing um when i was when i was a little bit heavier i was a plus size i was like 265 at some point in time in life and all i cared about was i'm 265 i'm gonna be cute i'm gonna be cute i'm gonna be cute so I know that's right. when i lost the weight i was just like i'm gonna be cute but this is stuff that you gotta tuck and roll and hide you can't really be as cute as you want to be but you got you, know, you just got worked out you know what i'm saying so um I, I i i go from extra small all the way to sometimes three and four x um depending on what it is i am very selective with my vendors like if your order takes a little bit longer you just got to trust the process because that means when the vendor sent it to me, it wasn't right. And I was not, finna if I'm not wearing it, I'm not giving it to you. That's so right. I sent it back and I'm going to give you a refund if I got to give you a refund. But we're not going to wear that because like, I'm not going to give you anything that I wouldn't wear. So everything that's in my boutique, I would put on or. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up, yeah. baby? <laughs> what y'all doing? <laughs> Wait, so he couldn't join the live, so he decided to come over here and get on the yeah, live. Because he is my most annoying child. You ate? I'm eating. Make sure you eat all your food, okay? <laughs> <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> Love y'all. 
<laughs> See you later, um, man. <laughs> but um, I have a couple vendors that are exclusive to me. Like I, like I can't necessarily lock down every city and every state because some people do exclusivity for that vendor. So since I'm based out of Houston, a lot of my vendors are exclusive to Houston. But that doesn't mean that I can't sell it somewhere else. So online right. is gonna be the way to go. Um, I try to make my prices really really reasonable if it's something that you see that you want you can always send me a picture of it and i can try to find it if i can find it i'll get it for you um i i try to make sure that i get the best quality that's why i'm going to cali this weekend i'm going to meet with a couple of vendors yes i interview my vendors oh i know that's right because if i'm not wearing it i'm selling it period i know Listen. Period. And you talking to a girl that just stopped wearing. I had to like I had to realize that I was balling on a budget. Like I never owned a pair of jeans that was not Ralph Lauren ever in my life. I'm not so oh, but that's right. Now but now that I'm fifty, I'm like, man, I'm not about to keep spending two hundred dollars on a pair of jeans. I ain't doing one of that. <laughs> so now I'm just like I had to figure out, you know, cute stuff that I could wear that like you know what I'm saying I still don't want nothing that I see nobody in that's another thing right. like if I get it you better grab it because nine times out of ten I only got five or six I'm not gonna because I don't believe like my daughter was so irritated she went to a wedding and people had on her dress now they didn't have a body they wasn't bodying like she bought like she was body, right had on her damn dress and she texts me like, it's four people in here with my dress on. And I had to respond back, but they body ain't body in. And she was like, you're right. <laughs> so me, I would have left. I would have left. I would have left. I would have went home. I don't care whose wedding it was. I'm not going to sit in here with four people dressed like me. So I really <laughs> believe in quality over quantity. I'm not going to order a whole bunch because I don't, I don't want to be out in the club and see somebody with the same shit I got on. I just... I don't do that. So if you see it and you like it, get it. Um, because it might not it might not last long. And if you go on my website, which is culture K U L T U R E closets K L K L O S E T S dot com, you go on my website and you see something on there that you want, get it. Put it in your cart until you're ready to do it. You can do the. I think it's it's not Klarna, but it's something else that you can use. Afterpay? It ain't Afterpay. Hold on. Let me tell you. A firm? I think, I think it's a firm. So you can even do a firm on there. Um, on some of the stuff. You can do that and make sure it is what it is so that you can have it. But at least get it if you think you like it. If, you know, I stand behind my product. Like I said, I interviewed the vendors. I go and I want to feel something. Send me something to let me see if this is what I like. If I don't like it, I'm going to send it back and then I'm going to take it off my site. It's not, it's not happening. Um, I have men's clothing. I have women's clothing. Um, I'm trying to get shoes. I got this one, this one vendor that I was really, really looking at. Because I said, like I said, I, I just stopped wearing designer shoes and designer clothes. I, I feel like uh -huh. when you get to this age, you can't just be going and drop twelve hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. Like you can't do that no more. Like I'm gonna leave that to y'all, younger ones. I'm not doing that no more. So, but I just got this one vendor that I'm like, I'm so thirsty for him. I'm waiting on him to respond because I just gotta have him. Um, and they on the sneaker side, they kind of like they still upscale, but they not, they're not your Gucci and your Louis, but they still like if you get, right. them, you're not gonna see nobody else with them, and they good, good call quality tennis shoes the men of course is a little bit higher than the women because i'm trying to do like purple label and um different things like that but the women is just like yeah I'm, I'm trying to go big or go home for the men because they be having a hard time finding stuff but i'm still trying to keep them listen keep them i had the idea a long time ago i never jumped on it i don't think i will but since you said purple label, you know how they got the red bottoms. I want to come up with purple bottoms. So maybe that's something you can work well, on. Because I can't. Oh, you can brand your stuff. So you definitely can. We we got to collaborate because I can show you how to brand it. Um, okay. 
Okay. But, you know, I just, I work with exclusive vendors. I have some that I'm just like really, really feeling. Um, I'm trying to upgrade to purses. I got to come out of my shell a little bit. Like I said, like, um, I re realized when I turned 50 that I, I went through my closet right before I turned 50 and I was getting ready to donate a lot of stuff to the Better Women's Shelter. And I'm just like, the stuff that I have in my closet that I never wore again because I took pictures in it. Like, that was a waste of freaking money. So now I'm trying to make myself do the responsible thing and to buy things that are affordable, not, you know, going into Belks or going into Nordstrom's and spending $75 on a tank top. Like, I don't want to do that no more because there's so many different things that I can wear and it's still cute and it don't, it's not poor quality, which, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I also, I want to be cute and I want y'all to be cute, uh, but I don't want y'all to be dressed like everybody else. So it's, that's why I did a boutique instead of like the online, <laughs> just doing like a regular store because boutiques, you can get something that's limited to your area. So I just, y'all should check it out. It's, it's a lot of things on there. And I didn't want to carry her to all the Instagram models and like, no, nah, cause like I got flabs. I'm gonna just keep it real. I got rolls and I got flabs and, and, and I got self, I'm self-conscious about my arms and my legs sometimes. So I don't want stuff that's going to be like making me feel uncomfortable. I got plus size. I got small size. Right. Um, it's really hard finding extra smalls, but I mean, I'm, I'm up for the challenge. So right now okay. it's just clothes and clothes and um two, two sets clothes comfortable stuff couple of swimsuits on there but i'm adding more but it's like really hard to keep adding and adding and adding because i what i don't want is i just cleaned out my closet i don't want all this product in my house and it ain't moving as fast as i want it gotcha yeah yeah but um i got a couple well, i'm a do my best to try to help you get some of that stuff moved on out, you know. Yeah, um, and I'm looking for some try to post you up around and get the word out there. You ain't reading my comment. I can't see the comment. I read I'm your comment. The movie I'm because <laughs> Main said, <laughs> what about them LV shoes you just bought and them Gucci? <laughs> First of all, I bought those before I was 50. <laughs> and second of all, he mad because I didn't buy him none. Oh, there you go. And third of all, why did there he go. go through my box? You really, you just try to what, me. man? You really just try to come for me, bro. I have no designer in this. You can <laughs> I bet you don't. How about you? I'm talking about. No, I'm talking. Okay, so let's go to play those parties real quick, man. You better quit playing. Well, I just back. I just. Said you got more, more I got a box baby. upstairs full of designer jeans that I'm getting ready to donate. Hello, what you? Oh. Me and Cam just went through them. You know. Yeah, we. Main, yeah, you came so on here. Yeah, yeah, so we you here. came like, on here, yeah. here and did your segment. And and you was eating, and now you eating again. You ain't you. You just love to eat. Listen, this is what I, I, I You see this invasion of privacy, invasion of space? If it ain't this nigga, it's this nigga. If it ain't this nigga, it's this. <laughs> this is every, every day. Excuse me. I'm, I'm going to get out of here. I'm sorry. You about to catch one. Come on, dude. Why would he just burp like that? <laughs> we out of here. Let's get on here anyway. Let's go. Listen. <laughs> We you we used to Maine. We're how, used to Maine. How do you get used to that, bro? Like I lived with this for thirty, almost four years, and he's always just everything. I got him good though. So he had just came back from um uh, with Cali, and I put Saran wrap on his door so, <laughs> because he played too much and. I, <laughs> I was like, I seen it on YouTube, uh, on TikTok. I should upload the video. He walked through it, his hat got stuck. I was like, yeah, yeah, I felt so I, good. I bet. We're going there? Bet, bet. I'm glad you told the world. 
Now it's war. I'm glad you told him. I felt so good. <laughs> he will push me in the now pool. War. He will push me in the pool. He don't care if I got my phone in my pocket on my hand. He don't care if I'm dressed. I'm <laughs> he will push me in the pool. Fully dressed. He don't care. Like he do stuff. Like he do stuff. He'll just walk. He be telling him, man, leave, leave, leave your mama bro, alone. Do bro. not get Miss Carletta started. Bro, he will walk past and lick his finger and wipe my face. Oh, just to my aggravate me. Sweet. Like, this is what I go through living with him. <laughs> <living with her. laughs> but I wouldn't trade it. Like, yeah. Couldn't live with my daughters, but I definitely could live with him. I just ignore him. <laughs> yeah. I just ignore him. But yeah, y'all should check it out. When y'all get a chance, go on there, you know, uh, show me some love, show me some support, and if you don't order anything, if you do order something, please do not forget to send me pictures so that I can post you in your outfit. Um, I send you a nice little um, thank you letter that's um, autographed, and it has words of encouragement on there when you receive it. Yeah, so I'm just trying to make sure that, like, we give him back. We give him back. Yeah. And I'm not one of them funny acting people. If you, if it's something like, if you trying to learn a game, let me learn it. I'm going to give it to you. Because I have some people that like had a boutique for years on top of years and, and won't even point you in the right direction. I just think they like, gave everybody yep. should be able to eat. Like, come on, man. We at this, like, this is our table. Like, every, we all should be able to eat. The ambassadors that I'm choosing, like, I do want you to have at least 10,000 followers. Um, but if you, you know, if you do, I gotta, you're gonna be able to copy your stuff from me at the wholesale price. You're not gonna have to pay the store price. And the first, I think I said four outfits are courtesy. And then after that, if it's something that you see that you want, you can send it to me and I can look, look for it. And yeah, you can get it at what, what I pay for it. As my ambassador. So y'all heard, heard that. If you got 10,000 subscribers, yep. hit her up because she wants brand ambassadors. Yep. And she needs the brand yep. ambassadors. I, I do. Yep. And then you also get and, a, a good discount. Who you can't pull up the site. Who can't pull it up? Right there. It's K U L T U R E K L O S E T S. I'm gonna put it in here. Sure. Yeah, because I think I. Go ahead. She don't have S on the end. Oh, Jesus. you gotta have an S on the end of closet. Yeah, I don't have the uh the S on the end. No, I'm not done with it. You want to eat this now? Yes. The scraps and the cold. I'm gonna throw it away. Dog eater or something. My dog can't have chicken. How you gonna throw your mama food away? And he know that I she ate like so, a two year old. Look I, at this. I had gastric bypass twenty yeah. years ago, so I still eat in segments. I'm about to throw this away. Gotcha. Still eat in segments. Like I can't just eat a full plate off the top. Oh, we don't have to definitely talk behind the scenes because I'm contemplating getting that, but it I was, might. I don't know. It's the best decision I that I ever made. I'm gonna be honest. Now that tummy tuck is that it? That tummy tuck, it ain't for the week. 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 <laughs> you got to be strong. I, 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 mm -mm. But the gastric bypass, yeah, I definitely, I just say follow the rules. Whatever rules that they give you, follow them. Like, follow them. I never had any issues with dumping or anything like that because I follow the rules. But that tummy tuck, baby, yes. I was supposed to get my boobs done when it was done. I will have these boobs for the rest of my life because I ain't never, <laughs> ever, ever, <laughs> nope. That time, you know, I like, you. yeah, I was praying, like, Lord, if you come get me tonight, I'm, I ain't even gonna be mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was gonna be, I was gonna be dead. How was I gonna be mad? <laughs> but I was Lord, you come get me right now. I'm not, not somebody else might. I had it. They might have been cool, but for me, my my tolerance wasn't that high. It was, yeah, that was, uh-uh, uh-uh. See, week. that's the part afterwards. I'm like, okay, because, you know, I had some health issues, and I blew up like a house, like, compared mm -hmm. to how I was. And so, 
it was a conversation. I went through my clearances. They found something else. So they're like, okay, you can't get the sleeve, but you get the bypass. And I'm like, I don't want the bypass. Why not? The sleeve, you can gain that weight back. Bypass, I ain't never, I don't go over 165. Yeah, that's the other side that I'm hearing that while I may not want the other one, the other one may actually be more beneficial because I'm hearing that a lot, that people have gained because the weight back the sleeve is a with rubber the sleeve. Band. The sleeve is a rubber band. So if you stretch the rubber band, you know, it keeps stretching as long as you know what I'm saying. The gastric bypass, you it's a rule of why. So therefore, they, they I can never remember if I don't have a large, I only have a small intestine. So they rerouted yes. it. So everything goes into the small intestine. I don't use my large intestine. So the yes. me the likelihood of me gaining the weight back is like slim to none. But I did, I winded up gaining all of that weight because of birth control. I took the Nora plant when it first came out. Um, I think my mm -hmm. baby was like six weeks old, and I gained a hundred pounds with it. Hundred pounds within six months. But wow. Then I took the um, took the gastric bypass, and I lost a hundred pounds within within. No, actually, I lost way more than 100 pounds, and I was starting to look like. So I had to like, I had to eat some cheeseburgers to put it back on. <laughs> I, I am not lying. I cannot. Still to this day, I cannot eat a McDonald's French fries and a cheeseburger at the same time. I had to eat the fries first, wait a little bit, like 30 minutes, and then eat the burger. See, I already eat. Like, I don't eat, you would think that I eat a lot. I don't. I eat small already as it is. But um, with what I had, something called accolation, that's where your esophagus, the nerve endings don't work anymore. Mm -hmm. So your food doesn't go all the way into your stomach. Your stomach doesn't open and close like it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. So on the days when my stomach would be stuck on open, I'm a bottomless pit. I can't, because I can't get full. So it doesn't feel like. I've eaten anything, and then I end up with um, when the stomach is closed, nothing is going in, so I can't get anything. And I went through a long period of where my stomach was completely closed up, and I couldn't get no food down. So I ended up getting vitamin and mineral deficiencies, which cause you to gain weight, which I didn't even know that. So, so I blew up. Now I want to get bypass, rid of it, and it's hard. Gastric bypass, you're going to be deficient with iron. You're going to be deficient with um, vitamin B12 and vitamin D. Those are your deficients. However, I just take a multivitamin and I'm good. But, do you uh, have to do the calcium too? Well, I don't do the calcium because I'm lactose intolerant. And even a calcium pill, I'm going to be, yeah, it's going to be a man down situation around Ooh. me. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I that, 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 that the calcium pills Yeah, too. I was born that way. I, I was breastfed, and then when she stopped breastfeeding, I had to take goat milk. I could never eat uh, cow's milk, ever. Never could. Yeah, soy, soy or goat. So, like now, like if I want to go to the bathroom, I just eat a bowl of cereal with some milk in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> It's gonna be great. It's gonna be real good. It's gonna be like you know natural laxative. But yeah, um, I just take a vitamin B12 once a month, and uh, the shot I do it once a month, and I take um, I take a multivitamin every day. But it, I had gotten so bad was well, because I wasn't taking care of myself. I was too busy kicking it and running the streets and doing extra stuff that I knew I wouldn't be doing. So I was iron deficient. So I had to have iron transfusions. Um, I would actually go and sit in there with cancer patients and have iron while they were having chemo. And then I just was like, so now like I stay on top of it because that was like, that was a very hard experience for me watching cancer patients. Like when I go and then I come back and they're not there, like that took its toll on me. So now yeah. I, just, I do whatever it takes. So I just take the, the B12 and, and B12 will make you lose your mind. If you don't, your body is deficient on B12, like you, like we are all bipolar. I don't give a damn, but I'd be real <laughs> bipolar if, I, if my B, if my vitamin B12 is low. I'm like, see now, so if 
somebody's acting up around you or you see you acting a little abnormal yourself go check your b12 might be your b12 yeah because you can yeah yeah you don't have no you, because think about it like this b12 gives you energy if you're not uh -huh. sleeping good at night and you are low on energy then you're moody and then you add it to yeah. your already moodiness like yeah it'll make you lose your mind yeah well, Miss Carletta, I want to say thank you so much. You know, you're always welcome. We got to get Maine to come back, but you are always welcome. If you want to do anything, collab anything, let me know. I definitely will be in touch with you because I need some new life insurance All right. and some and more I'll stuff. And I'll reach out to my friend, um, one of my colleagues, to see if she's licensed in New York, and I'll let you know. I'll, I'll hit you up tomorrow. I'll let you know. But maybe too okay. Hollywood for us now. He be hanging with Cali. He too Hollywood. He ain't, I know. Yeah. See, I know. And then all they do is before, she can giggle all day. Like, it's always a damn, yeah. Because, you know, she a whole fool. She really is, for real, a comedian. And so you put them two comedians together, it's, yeah, it's shits and giggles all day, every day. Like, it's ridiculous. They need to drop the footage of them together. Like, seriously. Because I enjoy, you know what I love the most about it is? They're cousins. That's family. Yeah. And you know he got them glasses on all the time, so you know it's footage. You know it's footage. I don't know why he holding out. <laughs> but I can't even get in. I just be like, what's going on? They be like, yeah, they, they tight lip. But that's how they was raised. They will not snitch on each other. It could be all bad, that's and they'll be like, they don't know, and they be knowing. They Oh, they know. They, they ain't finna, That sounds finna like know. my kids. Who did such a set? I don't know. Yeah, because they was talking. Nobody <laughs> ever knows this. This is the stitches around here. I wish you would tell. <laughs> Cardi, so Cardi right, used to like, beat the brakes off of me for telling. Of the <laughs> <laughs> well, you enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so much You're for so all of welcome. the information, you guys. Hit up Miss Carletta for your life insurance. Remember what she told you. If she doesn't, if she can't cover your estate, she got somebody that will. And make sure y'all get y'all some culture closet exclusives, okay? Yes. All right, y'all have, have a great that night. You're looking for, hit me up. Just send me a picture of it, and um, I, let me look for it. I can have it for you. Um, I just gotta, I gotta get with the vendor. All right, y'all right. have a. Well, evening. I appreciate you. you. Have a good evening. Right. You're welcome. Okay. Good night. All right. Hey, what are good you night. doing?